Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com and as you can probably see I need a shower and a shave but instead I'm out here in the hot and humid July afternoon and I'm actually going to be redoing a uh, little mini lighthouse. So let me show you what I'm doing here. Alright so here's what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's a little tiny yard uh, lighthouse here. It's probably about five and a half feet tall and it's basically just a fiberglass tube but as you can see the paint job is really rough. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, past due and also the uh, the actual lighthouse fixture up here is uh, in really rough shape I don't think that's repairable at all at least not with anything that I have so I'm gonna have to find a new uh, Light box for up here and then the rest of it is pretty simple It's like I said, it's just fiberglass inside a little bit of wiring and uh, basically just needs a paint job This thing's really rough. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sand it up and then uh, we'll go ahead and repaint it and turn this thing into something really cool All right, so I finished sanding it and it looks quite a bit different now. I got it basically all the way down to the white gel coat and I went through in spots. So uh, it's getting pretty close. Really, I didn't even have to go this far, but once I started and get all the paint off, I decided to go all the way. I mean, it's really kind of a 2020 project where it just has to look good 20 feet away when you're driving by 20 miles an hour. But let me show you up close some of the issues I need to work with now. Okay, I found it has some holes I need to fix and it had some previous Bondo work and it needs more Bondo now. Um, it looks like at some point it had a whole bunch of holes drilled in it that were filled with Bondo, but it's kind of cracked and come out. So I'm going to pull those out. And then the seam right here is pretty rough too. You got holes up here and then all the way through it. And uh, I'm going to have to fix some of that. Nothing major. Just a uh, quick slap some Bondo on there and sand it down. It'll be ready to go. So it's looking pretty smooth now. Got it all sanded up, smoothed out a little bit. Still kind of a 2020 piece, but it looks a lot better. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going over all these really thin spots where I went through the gel coat and then even the um, uh, Bondo spots. And I'm just throwing a little white primer on there just to cover them up. And uh, I don't care if this is a good paint job or not. It just has to basically cover it up. Then we'll, uh, we can start painting the design on it. So it should turn out pretty cool. All right, so I got it all primed white now. It looks a lot better. It's just about ready for paint went ahead and I pieced it back together and I told you this thing was broke and it's actually super wobbly and just no good anymore. It was missing all the glass and everything. So we tried to find a replacement for this and it's actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. The other thing is that it has holes in it, so check this out. It has the little socket here that I have to figure out how to make this work with a new piece. And then you got your holes up here too. Okay, so just all kinds of screws together. So what we did was we actually found this lantern here. Now it's quite a bit bigger than the old one. It's about twice as tall, but it actually looks pretty good. I'll show you kind of what it looks like up there. And it definitely looks like, you know, a lighthouse here. But like I said, we have to cut a hole in the bottom and be able to fit this little socket in there. So then once I get that cut, I'll have to drill some holes so that I can mount up there tight. And then also it has glass up top and I don't necessarily like how that looks. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glass panels out of the bottom because uh, it just has a couple, you can see these tabs here, just held in by tabs. Bend them out, take those out, but I'll keep these up here. And then when I paint this thing black, because right now it's kind of a bronze color, I'm going to paint it black. I'll just paint right over the glass to help that out. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. All right, so I finally figured out how to get a hole in there and then two little mounting screws to... Uh, fit this piece right here and uh, I tried using a hole saw and of course it didn't work because it's built for wood so I ended up just drilling a hole in the very center and then I used my uh, tin snips and ended up using the green ones I think they cut right-handed but it just helped make the curve a little better so anyway I uh, got that all cut up and it's ready to go it'll bolt right to this piece then I can slap it on top of, well actually on top of that piece bolt it all together once ready so now I got them jacked up on uh, some bricks to keep them off the ground so I can paint them so what I decided to use was some Rust-Oleum and uh, I'm using satin white. I don't want it too glossy because it is a little rough and I kind of look kind of like the uh, primer look. So I'm going to on the the big piece here I'm gonna paint the whole thing white and then I can paint the uh, black striped graphic on there later 
and then that piece is just going to be black. So I'll wait till I start doing black to do that. So that's what I'm going to do now. Slap on some Rust-Oleum. I figure it'll last a lot longer than like acrylic based house paint or even spray paint. This should last a long time. So we'll uh, see how that works out. All right, so I got the paint on. I know the uh, big piece here doesn't look much different, but got it all painted white and then we taped here so that the very top part can be black and then the very bottom part can be black. And then the little top hat piece got painted black and then also the little, uh, lantern piece for the top. So now we're going to, like I said, paint those and then start doing the stripes. All right, so now we're working on the lighthouse swirl graphic. So what we did was we took a flexible tape measure and we measured the top at the, where the white and the black paint meet and we marked it in quarters. So there's a line here, there's one directly across from it, and then there's two this way. We did the same thing at the bottom, okay? Then what we did is I figured the easiest thing to do was take string. So we took this string right here, and we wrapped it all the way around until it met the one directly below it. So this string right there is that string. We did it four times, and I think the graphic, the spiral will look okay. So then what we can do is just take a pencil and make a tick mark you know, every, I don't know, five or six inches on here. And then when we lay our tape, we'll know exactly where to go. And then we can paint every other one black. So it sure turned out pretty cool. All right, so we're getting close. The uh, swirl graphic turned out really cool. And one last thing I did was I measured and I taped off some windows. They look really big now, but I'm actually gonna trim them out uh, with some black trim. And uh, it should turn out really cool. And then I'll assemble it and I'll show you what it all looks like finished. All right, it's all together, so check it out. I got the cool swirl graphic. I got the windows painted up and trimmed out, and I even have the top all assembled. Got the glass in there. Got the, it's actually glass up here too, and they had that all painted and the metal's intact. Got a bulb in there. The wiring's all set to go. Got the top hooked up before it was just sitting on there. And then the big change here is the paint job. Black and white swirl. That was actually a lot easier to do than I thought. And then I taped off windows, and then I added a little bit of trim. These are actually popsicle sticks. I painted black, and then I screwed on. And then the little window pane divider things are uh, just painted on. But it uh, looks really cool from a distance. And, of course, that's you know, how it's going to be seen from the street. And, uh, of course, it can be wired up to light up at night if you want. So, anyway, turned out pretty cool.